Hi guys, Ben here. Welcome to another episode of Day Trip. Uh, it's about 40 minutes until Liverpool versus Leicester at Anfield. I've seen the team. A um, few changes. Milner comes into midfield. The Fab Four all starts. So that's pretty exciting. Van Dyke's at Anfield today. He might get in field right before kickoff. So that's, again, something to get the crowd going before kickoff. Um, so it's a bit of a double header in the next three days. Uh, Leicester at home. Um, and then we're going to stay up in the northwest to go to Burnley away on New Year's Day and then back to normality on January the 2nd. So it's going to be a bit of a mad few days. Um, all going to be vlogged and uh, looking forward to the game. Let's get three points. That's the thing I'm doing. You really are pushing the boat on that. Huh? You're really pushing that boat. Oh. <laughs> Lashing is. So a 2-1 win for Liverpool, a rare 2-1 win. I feel like we never win games that close, but having gone behind, um, it looked like it was going to be one of those days. But again, it's Mo Salah that saves us. He's really soaring towards that 31 target that Suarez has set, uh, the, the biggest scoring season anyone's ever had in a while. Can he reach that well? He's over halfway, and we're just over halfway through the season, so why not? He's been superb. Two great finishes today. Sensational performance from him. Really big three points out. We dug deep when we had to, and it's a big confidence boost going into the new year. So back in the hotel room now. Um, game finished. Well, it's quarter to seven now. So the game been done for about two hours. We went to the sand on for a quick pint, and now yeah, we're back at the hotel, just having a quick drink, freshening up, showers, and what have you. And then it's off to Boss Night, which is a district. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's like a load of local Liverpool artists and stuff. Um, and loads of Liverpool fans, it's basically Liverpool fans only. You go in there, they sing about the Reds, we all have a great time, chant Liverpool songs and just enjoy ourselves. And we won today, obviously, so um, it's going to be a good atmosphere in there, hopefully. And then, obviously, after that, we head into town and then, you know, finish the night off in style, wherever we may end up. Um, but, yeah, looking forward to it all, because it was a really great, really exciting game. Um, a real war, a real, a real battle between two sides, two very different sides, uh, but two sides that are good at what they do. Uh, Leicester... Looked like they had us uh, where they wanted us at, at, at times. Like the, the, the time wasting was uh, unbelievable. I've never seen time wasting like it. Kasper Schmeichel was getting with absolute murder, and and the referee was pointing at his watch every every time that Schmeichel went to take a goal kick. It took about a minute, and he pointed at his watch every single time. Like, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! And he only gave a minute added time in the first half, which you get anyway. No matter what happens in the first half, you always get about a minute regardless. Um, so what was the time wasting doing? What, what what was it adding to to the referee's stoppage time? So frustrating. Schmeichel was a proper proper knobhead the whole game. Um, we equalised and Harry Maguire tries to keep us from getting the ball back. He gets himself booked. He was he was a bit of a knobhead the whole game as well. Leicester were just pretty horrible to be honest with you. Uh, but justice prevailed. We got the win. Mo Salah with two goals. Wonderful stuff from him. Uh, we were pretty crap overall. Um, I thought the midfield was pretty pretty poor. I thought the fullbacks, in terms of their attacking contributions, weren't quite there. Um, I thought Gomez played pretty well, but um, you know his crossing wasn't there. But Robertson, in particular, his delivery was just pretty predictable each time. It was always low, couldn't beat the first man. Uh, that was frustrating because he's, he's normally quite good at that. Chan, I thought, gave it away way too often. He was quite sloppy. Milner in the first half was the same, but he got better as it went on. Chan kind of was the opposite. Um, 
just he really knocked off for sort of 20 minutes at the start of the second half. Uh, and I think, well, after the goal, for the sort of that 20 minutes, he's completely knocked off and given it away time and time again. Uh, but I thought my man of the match, I'd probably go for Dayan Lovren. I thought he was the best defender. Uh, I thought Matip was pretty sloppy. Obviously, he's a fault for their goal. Lovren holds it together pretty well. He's good in the air. He's calm. He's sensible, which I like to see from him because obviously he's prone to, to mistakes. Um, but really, it's all about Salah's finishing. Uh, wasteful in the first half of one or two, but then just gets the two chances in the second half, puts them away. Liverpool win the game. Sadio Mane is frustrating people. I mean, the cop today was on his back for a lot of it, which is frustrating and annoying and unnecessary. Um, but look, he, he puts two in the net, they're offside. He gets the assist for Salah's goal. Better, better in terms of in product. Still a long way to go in terms of his decision making, to get him back into form again, but I've got no doubts that he will end up being okay. Um, Oxlade Chamberlain comes on, does well. He hates a 50-50 Oxlade Chamberlain. Twice he backed out, uh, which is which is pretty annoying. Um, the cop was just pretty moody, to be honest, from, from minute one. Um, but look, we get through it, we get the three points. Vital, vital to get these scrappy wins over Christmas. And then we go to Burnley in two days' time. And um, we've got to do the same out there. Uh, but a good win, pressure on those above us. Chelsea win 5-0 against a weakened Stoke side. United are currently drawing 0-0. We're about 35 minutes left, so hopefully they drop points. If not, let's just enjoy ourselves tonight. We've got the win, get in there. See you soon. But I